Hello guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natanya. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. So, um, in today's video, I want to talk about um, some of the highlights for me as a, as a creator, as a business owner, some of the good things that happened in 2022 and some of the not so good things that happened, you know what I mean? Um, I'm learning to celebrate my wins, right? Celebrate my small milestone until I get to my big goal. Cause I think, I think I heard, um, small bows and even Serena Williams said that all of us have really big goals, but we also have small goals. No, we have long-term goals and short-term goals, right? And something we got to some of the midway goals. So in order to get to the larger goal, you're gonna have short term one that you can celebrate. It's like climbing a ladder. Once you get here, you can celebrate and you keep on going. So I'm learning how to do that. So I just, I took a moment and I really had to write it down because I, I couldn't think about what some of my wins were. And I want to enter this new phase, this new year of maybe every three months or maybe every month I stop and I reflect and think, what are some of the things with what what are some of the things that I'm able to celebrate? Just just to kind of get a, a um a gauge and making sure I'm working towards the bigger goal. Because I think sometimes we get caught up in just doing, 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 and the things that we're doing is not affecting, is not getting us where we want to get to. So um last year, hold up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last year I did my first I did my first mammogram. Right, that was scary. That was a big thing for me because I think most of the time when we go to the doctor and we hear we got to do certain tests, we just think certain things. And I was thinking that did the mammogram, but I think I shared it with you guys. Everything came back fine. However, I can't say this enough, ladies. And if I have any male followers here, subscribers here, don't be afraid to go to the doctor. You know what I mean? Get your body checked out um, to make sure you're good. We need to be healthy to get where we get to, right? The second thing, and I'm looking at my notes because it's just it's overwhelming. The second, well, it's, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing a particular order. I'm just looking at what I have. Last year was rough because I had a lot of moments where I feel like where where I felt like giving up to the point of even wanting not to be in this space no more. You know what I mean? Not necessarily YouTube, but just I didn't want to be here anymore. And that was scary to, to get to that point. And once I was in that space, no one knew. It was just that inner fight with me. And once I realized that, oh, this is, this is real, I decided to seek help. And I put myself in therapy and slowly and gradually and every day, is still a struggle. Um, from my point of view, I don't think anyone who has um, have that thought of not want to be here anymore ever really get over it. I think it's a constant battle, and you have to have um, things in place, and you have to have a support system that when those thoughts come about you can talk through it and see what it is um and for me i just I, I had to make really really tough decisions to um remove certain things and certain people from my life to kind of help me get into that space and it wasn't easy but if i had to pick between me being here because i want to hold on to this relationship or to this thing and not being here, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. So if anybody's struggling with that talk, please get some help, there's help, find people you trust. And, and for me, honestly, sometimes it's talking to people, it's talking to really close friends who have no, have no, um, no ties to what I'm going through. So me talking to them is coming from a place of neutrality, you know what I mean? So they're not gonna like, oh, I'm on that side, I'm on this one side. It's just hear me out. It's just let me speak. And sometimes when I speak, I just wanna speak and not 
get a response i just want to put it out there so and and i know what that's like so um get some help if you feel that way and don't give up you know what i mean don't give up i did not give up i'm not i'm not going to give up i'm going to keep on going and if i'm going to keep on going you can go with me okay um and the next side is a business and even not my business and also being a content creator right last year was a good year for my business i i think i did maybe 10 projects last year i was able to work with some of the brands last year that was really really good for me it really boosts my confidence and kind of helped me stay focused on that one to and not and just feel like all my hard work and all my sacrifice was not in vain has not been in vain so that was that's good you know um i was able to establish my website i'm going to link that below because i never talked to you guys about it so that was good for years i put up doing a website and last year just you know what i'm going to go ahead and invest and get it done so that is done so now you can book my services through my website we can um do consultation and all those things just through, through the website so i'm really really excited about that everything what i'm learning is that everything don't have to be perfect just start it and then you keep you can keep on tweaking and adding to it as it goes this is a very hard video for me to make and I, I feel myself getting like getting anxious and getting shaky because i really when i think about creating content it sometimes it can be repetitive you know what i mean everybody doing the same thing and that's okay that's just the world we live in and that's the world what it is but i think i think it's it's okay to take a moment and just share a personal side of you because i think sometimes when your subscribers watch or people who support you watch think everything is perfect and honey we all have the same issues okay we're dealing with family we're dealing with relationship we're dealing with money we're dealing with health we are dealing with the exact same thing it's just different levels to it honey okay it's just different levels to it and just know that we're all going through it okay um what else i have here okay and then i was able to travel go to hawaii for christmas which is and i'm going to keep on saying one of my favorite places to visit it is beautiful it is very welcoming i don't feel no type of pressure in hawaii from my surrounding it's just like just be yourself i don't know why that is and sometimes i think it's not a part of this it's not a part of the united states but we know it is but it's such a different vibe it is such a different vibe that i'm just I get excited to go it's a long ass flight but i'm excited to go whenever i get there i'm like yeah it's worth it but while i'm going there can we fly this plane any, any, any faster um what else did i do in 2022 okay my children um my oldest son he's doing amazing he's doing amazing um my middle son he is in college and he's doing amazing um jackson is doing amazing um he's uh jb godwin baseball he has on youtube channel he has his own merchandise I'm telling you that's that's like that's the that's just an entrepreneur right there on it he's he's everyone is doing amazing jb is doing amazing my marriage my relationship is doing well notice i didn't say perfect because we ain't got no perfect over here any we're doing really, really good. I, I think one thing I tell JB is that the one of the best decision, one of the best decision that I made for myself was to put myself in therapy, just to talk through all the stuff that I've been through even before I met JB and all the stuff that we just been through together. That's just life itself, and um, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to submit it to the video. If you can relate to it, comment below if you can, it's okay. Um, let's just make this space a positive space, encouraging space. I know you guys know that and we do it all the time, but um, I'm so, 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 so thankful for you guys for sticking with me. There've, there's been many a time when I want to just not turn this camera on because I don't feel like it. Sometimes I feel unseen, sometimes I feel unheard within this social media space and this content creating space. Um, but for your for your constant support and you know who you are it's um thank you i would not 
be here for words for you guys constantly watching and when i don't make videos asking me to make videos so i really really appreciate it and whatever you're pursuing don't give up don't give up um pray ask god for guidance and just keep on going the i think sometimes people think people say oh this is so oversaturated everybody's doing this everybody's doing that yeah but you're not doing it and you're gonna do it different you know what i mean you're gonna do it different so whatever is it whatever it is that you're pursuing keep going keep going keep going all right guys have the most amazing day have the most amazing journey celebrate yourself celebrate your win, your wins regardless of size the fact that we get up is a win the fact that we go out and come back home is a win the fact that we can make dinner pay our bills those are wins i know it's like one time when it was just hard to pay the bill so yeah let's just start let's just let's just celebrate ourselves and maybe i should make this a series where once a month we just check in and we just talk about just celebrate ourselves tell me and what you celebrate this month you know what i mean maybe i should start doing that so we can all change that mindset of not of feeling like oh what am i celebrating we're celebrating life all right guys i'm gonna go ahead finish this up wrap it up with a bow and um my next video i'm looking right here i'm gonna come back with my best and worst purchases of 2022 bye